Hi, I'm Lee from Optigan Security and I'm here to give you a tutorial on the Pyronics Home Control 2.0 app. If you have a Pyronics Enforcer alarm or a Euro alarm, uh, you may have app functionality. Uh, to set up the app, you need to download the Pyronics Home Control 2.0 app. This is a handy little app that will allow you to set and unset the system remotely and also receive alarm notifications should you have alarm activations. To set this up, you need to make sure that your alarm is connected to Wi-Fi. It can be connected via a cable, but the majority of systems that we install connect through Wi-Fi. To set that up, you press the D button, enter in your master manager code, Keep pressing no until you get to the option Wi-Fi setup and press yes. It will say set up with Wi-Fi device. This option uses your phone to sync the alarm control panel with your home Wi-Fi. The other option you've got if you press the no button again is to manually enter in your Wi-Fi name and password. So here it says SSID. Press yes and use the keypad to enter in your Wi-Fi name. You press D to go on to the next space. A will give you capital letters and the numbers and letters will refer. The first part to set up the Pyronics Home Control 2 app is to make sure that your alarm system is connected to your broadband. If your alarm is connected via a hardwire, a cable, then you won't have to do this. It automatically connects to your broadband. But if your alarm connects to um, your broadband via the Wi-Fi, then you need to enter in your Wi-Fi details into the alarm panel. This is done by pressing the D button, entering in your four digit master manager code and pressing the no button to go through the options until you get to Wi-Fi setup. Press yes. It will then ask you to set up with Wi-Fi device. This option uses your phone to sync the alarm to your Wi-Fi. Press yes. It will ask you are you sure? Press yes. It will then give you a Pyronics a code and a password. Go onto your mobile device, into your phone settings, and go to your Wi-Fi settings to search for network. So to get it connected, go into your phone settings, go to your Wi-Fi settings. You should see the code that's in the screen be displayed in the Wi-Fi networks. Select the network to connect to it. I've previously connected to this network, so it comes up with a tick but normally it would come up with password and you just enter the password that's on the screen to connect. Once it's connected, go onto your web browser and type in the following address 192.168.1.1 and enter. You will then get a list of your local Wi-Fi networks that the alarm can identify. Find your Wi-Fi network in the list and select. It will then ask you for that Wi-Fi network password. Enter in the password. and hit tick. You will then get a symbol of it connecting to your Wi-Fi network. Go into the Home Control 2.0 app. I already have a couple of systems added, but this screen will be blank. Press the red plus sign at the bottom. It will say add a new system. Press continue. It will then ask you to enter your system ID number. Your system ID number 
is a unique reference number that connects your alarm system to the Pyronix cloud. To get this number, press the D button, enter in your master manager code, and keep pressing no until you get to app setup app data. Press yes, it'll ask you use app, which should say yes. If it doesn't, press the D button to alternate between yes and no. When it says yes, press yes, it will then give you your system ID number. Enter in the system ID number. And press next. Enter your system name. For instance, home and continue. Your system should then be displayed in the list. Select it, enter in your user code and your app password which would be set up with your installer. You can select to save the code or save the password I would save the password, I wouldn't save the user code just for security purposes. Select login. It will come up with access denied. This is a security feature. You will now need to contact Octagon to get them to authorize you as a user on the alarm system. Select your system. Enter in your user code. Enter in your app password, which you get from your installer, and press login. So once authorized from your installer, you'll then get your settings displayed. Full set, night set, and area C. This can be called something different, but at the moment this system has only got two settings, a full set and a nighttime setting. To set the system, press the padlock and it starts to count down the set. You can tailor the settings to be instant or silent. Uh, this would be set up with your installer on the installation. To unset it, simply press the padlock again and it will stop setting. Another useful feature of the app is you can view history. So if you wanted to see um, if you had a previous alarm activation or if you wanted to make sure that the system's been set, um, obviously with the green padlocks here shows that the system's unset. When the areas are set, it will display a red padlock. Um, but if you wanted to check anything in it, you've got a history tab at the bottom here and that tells you everything that's been going on with the alarm system. So you can see here that on the 8th of the 3rd, 22nd, 13, 11, 33 seconds, exit started by the master full set. So this is quite a handy tool to have. To get back to the main screen, press the home button. That's it. Okay guys, well, that's it for today. Um, please like and subscribe and share for any useful tips and information. Thank you.